Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. So today I have a tutorial for you and a review. So I did make this wig and this wig is from West Kiss Hair. So um, as I was making the wig I did go through and shoot little video clips of like the pattern I did when I was sewing the hair onto my wig cap and all that so stay tuned for the tutorial and the hair review at the end so this is the wig cap that i'll be using this is a mesh dome wig cap and i got it from my beauty supply store and i love this wig cap because it does have a net in it so your hair can breathe so i like to mark off with like a lip liner or something on where i'm going to sew with the hair so I like to sew it up to like that line um, and it just helps me guide myself while making my wig. So I sew it into like a U all the way up to that line and I'm actually going to go ahead and sew it to this line right here that you see um, that I'm pointing to. Just sew it all the way up to there and all the way up to the front. Okay so I finished making my wig and I just want to show you guys the front part right here. So in the front, I did do the flip over. So instead of like this whole part right here, this whole inch part, instead of sewing it like, you know, straight this way, I sewed it this way. So I cut pieces and let's see if I can show you guys. But I started on this side. I know it looks messy, but once I put it on, you can't see because your hair covers it. But I started over here and I started putting pieces like going like this straight that way and then right there is when I went back so it's only back like that much um, so yeah and then it will give you that like flip over look so yeah that's how I did the front so this is what the inside of my wigs looks like so I do put six combs in it so I know a lot of people ask like do your wigs ever come off? No, because I put tons of combs in them and just like kind of comb it into, well stick it into my braids so it helps the wig stay very secure. Okay you guys, so I'm back and that was the tutorial, like the little mini tutorial on how I made it. I just really didn't want it to be like long and drawn out because I feel like there's so many videos on how to do the flip over method and all that stuff so I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I did this one uh, because I do make a lot of wigs and I really never show you guys like how I make it or like the steps I go through so I hope that helped you guys kind of get a gist of how I make my wigs and what it looks like um, and so at the end of the tutorial y'all saw like I do put combs in it so that's a question I get asked so much like how do your wigs stay down? Like they're not going anywhere off my head. I put six combs in it and I have like braids underneath and I kind of just tuck the combs into the wig. And that's basically it, that's how I keep it on. And then I have my leave out in the front. Um, usually at night I will put the perm rods in my hair to like blend it with the um, extensions so I take my wig off of course and then perm by the front of my hair um, or I'll use my tiny I think it's a 18 millimeter curling wand and that's what I did today because I literally just washed this hair and everything so yes so this hair is from West Kiss and I have all the details here in my phone because I can't find my paper that came with the hair um, so it is West Kiss hair and I do have four bundles of hair and this hair pattern is Brazilian kinky curly so to me it's not like all the way kinky it's more like kink curly if that makes sense but um, this is it is kinky to me but it's also very very curly and um, it's a lot of hair so when I first made my wig, I used like three bundles and then I noticed like kind of like towards here in the back, it was kind of thin um, because I was scared I wouldn't have enough hair and which 
at the end I had a whole bundle left over. So I ended up putting like almost all four bundles in my hair. I just went back and added it here. And yeah, so in the front, I took the hair kind of like from the back to try to put it over my face to make it look, I don't know, I like cooler or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the way that it looks when I have a lot of hair coming to the front. I don't know. I feel very like, I don't know, beachy and stuff like this. This hair is gorgeous. I'm telling you guys. So here's the hair up close and y'all this curl pattern is so pretty like I love it so much look how pretty these curls are like they're perfect these are like the perfect curls so curly hair is definitely always my go-to hair I love it so much um, and also I think it's great for you guys who want to have that you know free summer spring look during these warm seasons and warm months um, so I usually prefer to just like leave my hair out and blend it in um, but you can also use a lace frontal so this is a lace frontal that matches this hair um, this is a 20 inch just like my hair lace frontal and this is what it looks like so if you guys are not really into leaving your hair out um, when you have curly hair, you can always get a frontal and I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. So this is what it looks like. It looks very, very nice. I'm just not really a fan of, for myself, wearing frontals um, in wigs that I make because um, when you get a wig that's already made, I feel like it's easier to deal with a frontal or whatever. But when I have to make it myself, it is a complete struggle. I try to make lace frontal wigs so many times, it, it just never comes out how I want it. So I just kind of give it up on that. But if you are good at making them or you want to take it to somebody to get made, um, they do have a matching frontal that goes with this beautiful hair and if, of course if you want your hair to be bigger you can just comb it out I kind of like semi combed it um, just to give it that more natural big full look or you can just put product on it um, after it's wet and keep the curls super defined for a wet look but y'all I love this hair so much I think my wig came out so cute and I will leave all the info for this hair below as well as some coupons and everything for you guys. Please let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.